uh, it's gonna be his his ideal weight to to uh, to become uh, to become a world title very soon. Oscar, what do you think about the big fight that got announced? Canelo Charlo, Jermel Charlo, the little brother. <laughs> uh, look, undisputed versus undisputed. It's 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 great. I think it's great for boxing. I think um, people are surprised that he chose the smaller Charlo, uh, but I think the smaller Charlo um, could be even more dangerous for Canelo because the smaller Charlo is uh, has speed and fights harder and you know he's in your face so who knows how he's gonna do uh, uh, against uh, against the Canelo but I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a entertaining fight with with Verge, was there any warning signs? How was it going during camp? Was there any anything yeah. that made you worry that yeah, this could go up again? Everything was great. I mean, till the last second, everything was great. He looked amazing. Uh, Stitch, I believe, is cut man. Stitch Duran. Yeah, was saying, man, Virgil Ortiz looks better than ever. So we were all excited, and um, you know, in boxing, if you don't hear any news. That's always good news. So once we once we got that call, I mean, I kind of had a feeling something was up, something was going on, and so it's unfortunate. But like I said, his health is first, and then you know we'll we'll take it from there. I know you're not a doctor, but is this something you think he'll overcome and be bounced, or is this something that could hang with him? Yeah, the doctor said that yes, it, it was it was fatigue and and dehydration. Um, but uh, yeah, the doctors say it's something that he can overcome. Oscar, Absolutely. Oscar, real quick. How difficult is it going to be for Jamel going up two weight classes? And with Canelo being at 160, because no catch weight, the fight's at 68. Right. Do you feel like that's fair with Benavides and other, other options at 68 yeah. available? Well, look, from my, from my expertise's opinion. You moved up a lot, so yeah, you would know. Yeah, I moved up a lot. Um, he hasn't fought in two and a half years. No, no, that's Big Charlo. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I get confused. Yeah, what, Little, little what, Charlo, what last Charlo? fight was against Castano when he, when he became gotcha. undisputed. Okay. But he's never fought above 154. Right. And moving up two weight classes, I mean, first of all, I take my hat off to Charlo for doing that. Um, I understand that, you know, it's, it's a great payday for him. And he's obviously, he took that into consideration when making the decision to fight Canelo. But it's, it's going to be a tough task. I mean, two weight divisions is uh, is historical if he wins, but and 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 two weight divisions if he loses, he has the perfect excuse. You know, I moved up two weight divisions, so it's it's a win win for Charlo, I believe. Um, but I don't think Canelo wins anything by beating a Charlo. Does it make him look bad with the Benavides no, fight being out it there? No, it doesn't make him Because you bad. want the it's... fight, everyone wants that Benavides fight, yeah. and we're it, all I holding think on to it. It makes Canelo look bad. I just think that. It's 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 not a win-win for Canelo. That that's it. I that's mean, not the first legacy, basically. Uh, it, yeah, it's just okay. It's it's almost kind of like, a, all right, let me win this fight and, and and sharpen up my tools so then I can face, you know, Benavides or I can face, you know, the, the tougher guys. Oscar, um, you very active playing golf. Um, I spoke to Barrera this weekend and he said that um that Canelo's probably all that golfing that he's doing, you know, the mileage, the sparring. And oh, yeah. during the pandemic time he had, you know, around four five, four or five fights and you know, kinda of back to back, a lot of camp. Do you believe that maybe all that golf and, and all that, you know, boxing he's put in his body, do you believe it's kinda of starting to show now as oh, yeah. somebody like you that you very active sure, playing golf? Absolutely. Look, Canelo Canelo's uh how old is he? He's 32. 32, 32, 33. 32. Yeah, well, 32. He's, he's, he's an old month. 33. You know, Be, not, not, not because, I mean, not because he's been in wars, wars, but he started professional 15. when he was 15. Yeah. So if, if, you're not, if you're not focused on just training and, and, and taking care of business and now you're golfing and it takes a lot out of you. It's, I mean, you're out there six hours swinging, swinging. the club. You're walking. You're not resting your body to go to war against somebody. And and I remember my my best trainer I've ever had in in, in my whole career, uh, Cholain Rivero, who trained me for the Chavez fight. He would he would tell me every time you get a chance to rest your legs, you just sit down and rest and stay off your feet. He wouldn't even let me play pool in my own home because I was standing on my feet. So. You, 
can imagine, you know, the toll it takes on you, uh, especially after you're, you know, 31, 32, 33 years old. Um, you know, you have to you have to get as much rest as possible, and and it and it does affect it does affect the fighter. Oscar, you've always been outspoken about the jab. You always said yeah. the jab is the key to the victory. Did you always use the jab? Always use the jab. Always. And there's been a video just recently that Ryan Garcia posted with Derek James and just basically just show him maybe a technique made with the jab. Can't take too much about take too much away with it. But uh, at this moment, at his at his career for Ryan, do you believe he can tweak a little bit more? Because every fighter. Uh, can still grow, but in professional, do you think they can still tweak a little bit more while they're changing trainers? Which is you've always been, oh, you yeah, said you yeah. said that it's always been good to change trainers to change you know change the atmosphere in your camp. Look, from my experience, he needs he needs authority. He needs he needs a military. He needs somebody that's gonna fucking tell him what to do and not be afraid. And because I had that as well. The one trainer that I most respected, the, the one trainer that would get me out of bed at 4.30 in the morning when I didn't want to get up was Floyd Mayweather Sr. I mean, he would literally throw a fucking bucket of water uh, over my head so I can wake up. But that's what I needed. So if, if his new trainer, Derek, if, if he's going to be that authority to Ryan... I think Ryan is a is is he's a sponge. He he wants to learn. He wants to feel like somebody's teaching him. So you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm yeah. I'm glad that he has Derek as the trainer uh, because I know he's gonna be there. You know, cracking the whip. And you know, in being in that camp, you have Joshua, you have Arrow, you have Frank Martin, you have now obviously Ryan. I believe all those attributes of those fighters will also. Add a little bit more to his him being a sponge and just absorbing everything yeah, from all those fighters. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's he, he he's learning, he's growing, he's um you know this this loss against Tank um will will teach him a lot um about himself, about you know the fighter he is. Um, a loss teaches you everything. A loss teaches you a lot. So. Um, he's surrounded by by world champions. He's surrounded by great fighters, and so I'm I'm very positive that he'll absorb everything he can to become a better fighter. Uh, lastly, just last question, yeah. la last question, just for me. I'm, have you changed your mind maybe about Spence Crawford or the overall thought on, the, on that prediction of the fights? You know, it's been a good year for boxing. Yeah, this year. I love Crawford. Mm -hmm. I, I I still love Crawford. I mean, it, it's going to be a great fight. I love Crawford. I just feel. You know my my expert opinion. I guess um, I just feel that Crawford has has more tools uh, in his arsenal. I, I I strongly feel that Crawford is just a little more agile. He moves around a lot a, a bit better. Um, Spence, don't get me wrong, he's a great fighter. I, I love his style. I mean, I literally built his entire career from the start. Um, so I know exactly what style he has and how he moves and. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I love I love Crawford uh, for the win. All right. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Oscar. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.